Oh, hey, I thought I heard somebody. Hey friends, welcome. Welcome to Open House here at Pinecrest Academy of Inspirata. My name is Mr. Quadro and I'm the computer science teacher here. And uh, hey, I'm making this video because I want to give you all an idea of what this class is all about. So uh, hey, follow me and uh, let me take you on a little tour. Come on everyone. So a little bit about me, I'm not originally from Las Vegas or Henderson. I come via San Jose, California, born and raised. Um, I was living in Burlingame with my wife and my three-year-old son and my, uh, my six-year-old pug, Duncan. We moved down here. Uh, we bought a house in Inspirata. I got a job here at Pinecrest Academy. Um, last year wasn't exactly what I thought I was going to be doing, um, but this year I finally get to meet your wonderful kids and I'm very excited about that. So hey, I'm a, I'm a pretty easy going person, especially when it comes to teaching. I like to give the kids lots of freedom. Um, I like to uh, allow them to make choices and to, uh, to make mistakes because well, hey, when you make a mistake, it's a great way to learn and to grow. So I will be incorporating the seven habits of highly effective people into my teaching. Um, what they are, are just some kind of cool rules to live by to help you become more productive. So things like be proactive, uh, begin with the uh, the end in mind. Put first things first. All right. Think win win. Seek first to to, to understand and then to be understood. Uh, synergize and to sharpen the saw. The last things I like to say about uh, my classroom management is that I do follow the school wide expectations here at Pinecrest Academy. Uh, so things like you know follow directions the first time. If you don't, I will gently remind you. Um, uh, walk quietly through those hallways. Uh, keep your hands and your feet and your objects to yourself. Treat one another with respect, you know? Treat the classroom with respect. Treat others with respect, and especially treat yourself with respect, all right? And finally, do your best, all right? Hey, I'm okay with, with failure. I'm okay with it because, you know, it's, it's a great way to learn. You're not gonna be successful every time because the only time that you really fail is when you give up. And I encourage kids to work through those challenges, all right, because in the end, you become a stronger, better person if you work through it. Now, as for what we're doing in this class, that will uh, vary from grade level to grade level. Um, but the basic overview is that we want to become competent and confident users of computers. Um, so we're going to be working on our keyboarding skills. Uh, we're going to be uh, learning how to use Word documents and spreadsheets and how to make awesome slideshows. Uh, we will be touching upon coding as well. So using things like code.org, Scratch. Um, I'm going to show kids how to make some websites using NeoCities. Uh, we're also going to be uh, talking about app creating. Um, and we might even get into some creative video production and uh, how to use things like Canva as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be creative, it's going to be energetic, and I really want these kids to be able to use these computers as tools to help them be more effective and productive students. We do have enough Chromebooks for each class in here. They are right here. Um, the K through four kids will have access to these. Um, I believe the fifth graders will be bringing their own Chromebooks. If they don't, I obviously have enough for them. Um, and the middle schoolers obviously have their, their own Chromebooks. So you middle schoolers, Bring your Chromebook every day and bring your charger too. As for a, a typical routine in here, um, the kids are moving in and out of this classroom pretty quickly. Um, I usually start my day with the fourth graders, work on down to kindergarten, and then I end my day with the middle schoolers um, and the computer science elective class. Um, right here, what you see is the common board. We got K through four, fifth grade, and middle school. Um, and this just kind of lets the kids know what's going on. And um, I can always refer to it if they're, if they're not sure about what we're doing that day. So as I wrap up this uh, computer science open house here, I just wanna say that uh, I don't really plan on giving the kids homework. Um, I want them to do the work in class um, because it's, uh, you know, I can monitor it and uh, it's less that you have to do at home. But obviously, hey, if they don't use their time wisely here in class, they gotta do it somewhere. Um, and then uh, also, you know, if there's one thing that, uh, that I know, it's that I don't know everything. Um, and hey, if you have a background in computer science, um, I would love for you to come in and talk to with my students. Um, it could be via Zoom, it could be live in person. Um, we can work something out. So, um, but uh, hey, I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be a fun school year. This curriculum is ever evolving. It's gonna be active, it's gonna be engaging, it's gonna be hands-on, and uh, it's gonna be a blast. And your kids are gonna learn a lot, and I'm gonna learn a lot from your kids too. And uh, so, uh, hey, I wish you all the best. Let's have a great school year. And uh, hey, if you ever have any uh, questions or concerns, hey, 
you can send me, send me an email right here and uh, I will get back to you as quickly as I can. All right? All right, friends. Peace out. Have a great school year.